Hi, Mustang families. My name's Miss Eaton and I am Irwin's educational technologist and I wanted to share a project with you and your families that is optional, but it is to recognize and shine a spotlight on our military children during April's month of the military child. So if you want to work on this from home, you would need to find the Irwin website and on the Irwin website, you will find class link. And this is where it is located on all Dodea schools websites. ClassLink is our single sign-on um, program for the applications and sites that are approved for us to use here at school. So when we click on ClassLink, we'll get to the sign-on screen and all of our students, regardless of what grade they're in, sign in with Google. Now our youngest students do also have the option if their teacher provides them with what's called a quick card, which is like a QR code, um, and they would sign in here. However, our students can also use their Google account regardless of whether they are pre-K-2. Their Google account is connected to that quick card. And that would be what they call their standard name, which is for your students four letters unique to them and four numbers unique to them at student.dodea.edu. And then their Google password, um, if they do not know it for some reason, their teacher can give that information to you. Do not change those passwords at home. It makes things really difficult when they come back to school and they do not know what their password has been changed to. So uh, reach out to your child's teacher if you do not know their information to sign in. Um, staff, we use our Microsoft accounts. Once your student is in their Google account, or in their ClassLink account rather, they are seeing a dashboard of information, you know, sites that they have access to. And they are looking for this red, well, it's red for me, but this folder called the EDU Rostered Apps folder, I think it's red for them too. Um, in that EDU Rostered Apps folder, we're looking for this application called Wixie. And when they open Wixie, they will see where I have assigned them a project. Now it is optional, it is not an assignment for a grade and it does not have to be done. Um, but by assigning it, they can see it. And this is what that project looks like. So in the Wixi project, it will open up on this instruction screen and the instructions are here. If you click the play button, they can read the instructions to you. And that's my voice reading it. Okay. Um, if they're working on the project, they'll lose the instructions, but simply clicking that uh, little notebook or uh, notepad will bring back the instructions uh, window. So number one, we're going to title it by adding your first name and your teacher's last name up in the top left corner. So we'll leave this here, but we will add our first name and we will then add our teacher's last name. Okay, that will be the title. Second thing, we're going to change some text. So the first part of the text we're going to change is your first name. So as we click on the first name option here, we can delete this or we can backspace it out and put in our first name. Only first names, please. The second part of the text that we're going to do is on the left, we have some questions here and we'd like for your student to answer those questions. We don't want the questions to stay here though. We want to back these out and replace them with your words. Um, Hi, I am nine years old. I am in the third grade. I like to learn about, for fun, I enjoy, right? Your words. How do you um, what do you want to say? On the right side, answer these questions. So replace these questions with your own words that tell us what mean, being a military child means to you. Um, so we're going to write there. Now one of the cool features of Wixie is it has an embedded microphone and you can do speech to text. So if you click on that microphone, it'll record what you're saying and type it out for you and then you can edit it if need be. Okay. All right. Moving back to the instructions. The third feature is adding an image of yourself. We want to see you in this frame. So in order to do that, what you're going to do is go to the image tab on the top and you can click on the camera. And if your device has a camera, you would be able to take your photo here. Now my device's camera is being occupied in this recording, so we don't see me. But if you click add, your photo would show up. Imagine I'm there and you could resize it as needed. You can also just resize the frame as needed, okay? You could also add an image that you may have saved on your computer. So if I clicked on my files, it would open up my computer's files. I could upload a photo from home. 
I can also connect it to my Google Drive. So you may have a student, um, a photo of yourself saved in your Google Drive and you could upload it there. Other option would be to do a video. So you can record a video by clicking the video tab. And then this same thing, if my camera was working, um, I would either hit record here or I could hit this and pop it over to the side. And then I could read what's on my page instead. And as I record, I'll get the little countdown. I'll do my talking, it's recording. I hit stop, I hit add, and it will pop my video right into, and the same thing, I can move it and resize it, okay? Fourth thing, when you're done and you've decided you would like to have this completed, you need to mark it complete so that I know you're done. You go to file, mark as complete. And on my end, I will notice which students have completed it and are ready for me to share it. And that's the fifth part, and I'll take care of that. The projects that are completed will be shared on the Irwin Facebook page. They will also get turned into a video that we will premiere on the Mustangs Broadcasting Network. If you need any assistance, please do not hesitate to email me and I will help as you need me. Can't wait to shine the spotlight on our military children. We love them so much and we're so proud to be a part of this military community. Thank you so much. Bye.